Magic Maker, it's Carolina again and today I'll be giving you some tips on how to choose the right deck, even if it's Tarot or Oracle deck, because that's a question that keeps coming up over and over again. So today I'll be talking about it so there is no more doubt and you can be sure how to find your soul deck. is to always go with your intuition, which means how you feel about your deck. So forget about the reviews, about the textbooks, about what other people think about the deck, whether they think it's pretty or not. The only thing that's important is whether you love the deck and how you feel about it, okay? Which goes hand in hand with the second tip, which looks pretty obvious, but you know, believe me, it's still pretty difficult to remember it sometimes, and that's Go for decks that you actually like. And I mean from a visual point of view, but even in general. But the visual point of view is really super important because that's what you'll be working with, with your cards. You work with the images, with the pictures. So make sure that you love the artwork of your tarot deck. Now, if you go to an actual store to buy your deck, try to ask them for a sample so that you can go through the deck, which would be another tip, okay? Uh, going through the deck will really help you to feel it, which means you can see how big the cards are, how they fit in your hand, how easily you can shuffle them, you can check their weight and colors, you know, and all these different things that might be important to you and really get a feel of what working with the cards would really be like. If you're buying a deck online and you don't have this opportunity to actually touch them before you get them, then I really recommend uh, googling the deck out, the name of it, and finding different pictures, and then finding it uh, on Instagram and Pinterest, because a lot of people post their pictures of their decks and spreads, I do that too, and that really gives you a feel of what using the deck actually looks like, so that you can get an idea of how you could use it, you know, and how they look in combination with different cards, for example, and stuff like that. If you'd like some more info on how to find the coolest decks ever, I've actually made a video about this that's called exactly that, how to find the coolest decks, so check that one out. Now, regarding gifted decks, okay, that's a big topic. People are very confused about this because just like I said, like you should really choose your deck on your own, right? Because you know the best what feels good to you. So some people think that if somebody gives you a deck, it's uh, not good to use it because, you know, you haven't chosen it yourself. But I don't actually completely agree with this because I think uh, if someone who really knows you gives you a deck, there is a very big chance that it's something that you will actually really like and that you would pick yourself. This happened to me. My first deck was actually gifted to me by my mom when I was 15 and I loved it. I kept using it for ages and it was a pretty um, sophisticated and complicated deck as well. It was the Crowley Sparrow, one of the most famous ones, but I loved it and kept working with it pretty successfully and learning with it actually for ages. Now, what might happen as well is that you buy a deck and you love it and then over time you kind of grow up from it, you just don't feel the same about it like you did before and that's completely fine because, you know, you're evolving and you have different needs and different feelings and different values at specific times and the cards, they reflect that. Sometimes they also reflect your shadows, something that you don't want to face and so you don't really feel like working with them because it feels much more challenging. And that's okay too. That's why you'll probably over time find yourself using different decks and buying different decks or even collecting them. That's a good excuse. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's totally normal and be ready for that, okay? That the deck that you used to love once, you might not really prefer sometimes later. So to summarize it, first thing is go with your intuition, follow your heart. Choose a deck that you actually like, you love the artwork. If you can feel the deck, just how it holds, how it feels in your hands, if you cannot feel it physically, then check it out online and get a feel from the pictures or whatever you can research. But again, focus on your feelings, not really the rational information that much. And the third, uh, the fourth, sorry, tip would be don't worry too much about gifted decks. 
if you really love the one that someone gave you, just keep using it. That's all right. Like you don't actually have to really go and choose it yourself. Again, all that matters is how you feel about your cards so that playing with them actually feels like play and fun and it's not something that you hate doing. Okay, so I hope you'll find your soul deck soon. Let me know which one it is if you've already found it. Mine is actually the fountain petal, I think. So you can leave it in the comments below and I'll see you soon again. Bye!